Hi, I'm Tamara with Wyoming Dutch Oven Cooking. Welcome to our channel today. We're going to be doing something really yummy. It's called Wyoming Whiskey Meatballs. Yes, and it does have Wyoming whiskey in it. And it is made in Wyoming, Kirby, Wyoming. What I did last night is, is I went ahead and made my meatballs and my barbecue sauce. It just makes everything a lot easier. Plus, those flavors just kind of enhance when you make them ahead of time and let them simmer and Anyway, with our meatballs today, I've got one pound of pork sausage, country sausage, one pound of lean ground hamburger, and one egg, pepper, garlic, and panko crumbs, one and a half cups of panko crumbs. You mix that up really well, as you can see. And I've gone ahead and made some ahead of time. These smaller ones we're gonna use for hors d'oeuvres, and these are gonna be your regular size meatballs. Well, we've all made meatballs. You want to try to make them all in about the same uniform size. And what we're going to do today when we cook these, we're going to cook them probably with this many meatballs in a 12-inch Dutch oven. And we're going to cook it over coals today in, instead of briquettes. And so what we'll do is we'll take them outside and get them in our prepared area. We're going to, you know, brown them drain off any grease if we need to, and then we're gonna put our famous barbecue sauce. And in this barbecue sauce, there's a lot of ingredients, and I'm gonna just briefly go over it with you, but a lot of really fun ingredients. Of course, with the Wyoming whiskey will be really fun. But it's got butter, oil, one medium-sized onion minced, a three-fourths cup of Wyoming whiskey, ketchup, vinegar, orange juice, maple syrup, molasses, Worcestershire sauce, black pepper, garlic powder, chipotle powder, which is really a fun seasoning. It really kicks it up if you like that kick, which we love that kick. And chili powder and one four ounce can of tomato paste. You put that all in here and let it simmer for quite a while and let it kind of reduce so it's nice and thick. So that's that for this part. We'll see you in a little bit and we'll show you what we'll be doing next. Just remember, if you like this video, to please subscribe, hit the like button, and leave a comment. And also, we have a website. It's wyomingdutchovencooking.com. And on that website, we have a free guide and a recipe book. It will be a lot of fun. Please go to that website. Thank you. We got some good fire going and some good coals, and they're going to be cooking really nicely here. This will probably take about an hour. Maybe an hour and a half because we want that barbecue sauce to simmer and get into those meatballs. And boy, is this going to be yummy. Right now, we're not going to put a lid on it. We're just going to cook them like this. And I'll keep turning them and keeping an eye on them. As you can see, we got a couple things going on here. Our little hors d'oeuvres are cooking in our cast iron skillet. And our bigger meatballs are cooking in the Dutch oven. And it's warm. It's hot enough, my, I think my knees are cooking. But you know, this works really great. What I do is make them ahead of time and then you can freeze them and you can take them out hunting and camping and whatever you wanna do, it's just a very easy meal to put together and you can have whatever you wanna go with it. We like fluffy mashed potatoes, corn on the cob is really going great right now, fresh tomatoes, cucumbers, but it's really very handy to take camping. And as you can see, they're cooking really nicely. We're gonna let them continue to brown a little bit more. It does not look like we need to drain off any grease. So then I'll put my barbecue sauce on them and put the lid on them and let them simmer, pray for about 45 minutes. Well, I told you we were gonna have a wonderful meal today. As you can see, it turned out beautiful. Look at those meatballs. And of course, the little appetizers and the sauce. My goodness, can you smell it? It is really going to be awesome. And of course, we've got fresh vegetables from our garden, cucumbers, tomatoes, and fresh corn on the cob. You cannot go bad on this meal. And please remember our website, wyomingdutchovencooking.com, for a free guide and a recipe book. Thank you. This is to all of our viewers. We hope you enjoy this with us, and please try it. You will love it. And there was extra barbecue sauce, which we'll be sharing with another meal later on this week. It goes great on chicken, pork chops, whatever you'd like to do. 
Thank you for joining us. And our motto is great food shared with family and friends equals great times. Thank you.